Hey beautiful people, how's it going? It is your girl, hot girl, Terrell Shay, And I hope each and every one of y'all are having a good day so far. Okay, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please and thank you. All right, right now we're going to look and see why your person, what deepest regrets does your person's ha persons, does your person have? To those who are currently watching this video, we're going to see what their deepest regrets were as y'all are separating and they've had time to think about it. Um... I'm going to see what your person deeply regrets about this connection, you know, or not necessarily about this connection, but more so why things turned out the way that they did. Okay, we're going to take a deeper look into it and see what's going on. Please only make sure you take a resonance and leave the rest and make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for your girl. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, angels, and God's bless my beautiful collective. What they need to hear with the person that is currently on their mind. What regrets is their person feeling? with this connection what is your person's deepest regret what is their deepest regrets what is this person's deepest regret spirit two more shuffles So your person's deepest regrets is some some things being exposed about them, you know, which caused the relationship to be left out in the cold. You know, it caused some disconnection between y'all. Your person regrets, you know, you kind of finding out about things because I feel like they didn't want you to. You are you gaining some emotional, mentally clarity? OK, you kind of cut through the B.S., and you kind of lay, lay, the, lay the shit out for your person. Look, I know what's going on. I see what you're doing, you know, and they, you found out quickly. They didn't want to get exposed and they asked got exposed is what I'm picking up. Yeah. Could have been from an ex because now they know that now that they deep, now they know what you know, they feel kind of dumb. They also feel like something is, um, they just keep getting like something like, Something involved with their ex, okay? Yeah, see? Some about some spell work, collective, which caused y'all to be, be done, and you just permanently wanted, you just deaded the situation. Like, you just went on, look how she's holding the skull. Like, you just ended up cutting the whole situation out. You could have blocked this person and had them feeling some type of way. Yeah, this person wishes that they would have, you know, took things more slower with you or start taking things serious with you. They wish they would have took the date seriously with you. Okay, instead of having you going in circles in and out. What else this person regrets? Spirit? They regret not taking you on a vacation and spending time with you as they promised. You know, they could be very angry that they didn't do right by you. Had some type of, you know resentment towards that for not stepping up for you they regret stringing you along and playing with your heart and your mind because now all they're able to do is just secretly stalk you okay because you don't you you're you're kind of cold right now not kind of you are cold collective you don't want nothing to do with this person you're actually out here you know working on your revenge body you're working on yourself you're looking fine as hell you're doing better you know and this person about to chase you because they don't they look they feel like you're very beautiful they're intimidated by your beauty. You know, your beauty stands out, your physical attraction, you know. And that's why they want to come, possibly come back in and ask you, do something romantic. Like, damn, I got I got to take a risk and get my collector back, okay? Because they feel foolish. They feel foolish as hell. And you were really a wish come true for them. You were everything they ever wanted. But they, they, they left you and they ghosted you. And now they know that you possibly are out going on dates, having fun. Now they feel like y'all were really connected, that like you were their real person. And they could have just used you for sex for the time being. But I feel like this was a painful love experience because they didn't want to let you go for real, for real. They wish they never ran away or did you how they did you. And they feel like they're going to take some type of, um, they're going to fight for your love with a phone call. For some of you, you could be getting a phone call soon. Something is brewing with your person because they're at their breaking point to where they can't, 
they can't no longer keep hiding themselves from you. Okay. Yeah. They feel very, they want to protect you right now. They, they're just asking that God just keeps you where you at or, or possibly just praying that you haven't gotten over them yet, you know, but they feel trapped in the situation right now to where they kind of keep themselves busy to, to keep you off their mind. Yeah. See, money is tight. And it's like the more they work, the more your person just kind of it's, it's still nothing works out for them. Let me see. Because your person's situation where money is very tight right now could be giving it all away. They don't never have nothing really to show for it. All right, Spirit, tell me more. In regards to what's going on with the collective's person. Do one more. Oops. Sorry, guys. All right. See how your person is feeling. So something in the next couple of weeks, months, something's going to be happening. And I feel it's going to be with a karmic when it came out in reverse. Your person um, may be possibly trying to get out of this situation, with the third party situation, because they're realizing it was a tragedy. It was a forbidden love and they're really feeling unconditional love for you. This is what's going to be on the verge of you finding out and the possible person going to try to come up and popping up on you, Collective. Mm, okay. Yeah, right now, you and this person may not be even talking to one another. Okay. Because there could be children involved in the situation to where your person is going through a situation where this third party is in this retaliation energy and your person's trying to change. And I feel like your person feels very, very embarrassed and stupid or some clown ass shit. They feel foolish because now, you know, they get nothing but signs about you, hearing songs about you. Yeah. See, your person been keeping tabs on you low key. Okay. Been keeping tabs, possibly been watching you, but whatever they're in, they're about to get up out of. Okay. This, your person is about to physically change from some place that they're in with this karmic. Because they don't want to be with them anymore. Yeah, they're going to all for them just to come back towards you. There's going to be a reconciliation with your person. Yeah, this could be a twin flame. And this very person very tuned in to see what you're doing. Yep, because look, they're about to come in with some type of offer. They have to put some type of offer on the table with you. Want to commit to you. Try to give you some type of proposal because they want to talk to you. They want to get on the same page with you. But they are in this energy where they're kind of in this panic mode. They got some type of anxiety. Yeah. Because they they want to be in a long-term commitment with you. Sorry, guys. Yeah, this divine masculine. They want a long-term commitment with you. And that's what the fuck they want. And they want to be back with you. But they feel like a mental pr prison. They feel a mental lockdown. Yeah, something legal. Your person could be doing some jail time. Yeah, but your person realizing that, that you were the one that they really loved, that you were the one who was real. Out of everybody else, you kept it 100. And now they feel stupid and crushed for missing this opportunity with you. Yeah, person feel like a, a roller, like they're on a roller coaster. Yeah, but right now, your person going through an issue financially. Like I tell you, there's big, heavy financial issues going on. Could be giving all their money away to this third party, you know? It's kind of like your person was playing you and they end up getting played in a situation. Yep, financial support could be going to jail time. See that, that him cuffs? Money issues. Judge going to have the last say so. Mm -mm, child support something. Because your person feels like you're their soulmate though. And they want more of you. And they know possibly if they come back towards you collective that this karmic going to probably do some dirty shit. Yeah, this person feel crushed, sad, and alone without you. Because y'all had unconditional love. And like I told y'all, they're going to let you know that here soon. Yeah, they're going to pop up on you and let you know. There's something's going to pop up and, that, and you're going to find out. Yeah, your person feel like you're leaving them behind. You're growing. You're moving on. You know, 
And they watching you do that too. They watching you. You know, they pretending. They acting like you. You can probably think they don't care about you. This motherfucker watching y'all. Okay, yeah, they come to a realization they should have stayed with you. Wishing and hoping and praying that you don't go nowhere. Because they feel way down. They feel like you know that, that you don't turn their back on them. That you're moving on without them. Because they chose a drama queen over you. Now they want to come back towards you. Mm-mm. Yeah, the person about to be on a hot pursuit to get you back. On a hot pursuit to get your ass back, collector. I know that's right. Yeah, because they must have you. You're an obsession. They want more of you. Yeah, but they ran to something that was a tragedy. Now they're seeing it. Right now. Right now they're seeing that shit. Today in the present. Right now. Look what your person got to go through. Financial support. Could even been married. Mm -mm -mm. Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, must have you. They want you real bad. Even if it means driving to you, escaping, moving towards you. For some of you, you could have this third party going to be reaching out to you like, hey, come and get your man. Da 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 da. You know, some petty shit like that. And you might be like, okay, I will. <laughs> Just to piss their asses off. Yeah, but your person going through money issues, I'm trying to tell you, they losing it all. Losing it all. And all they're able to do is look back at a time that they were happy, they had their shit together, things were going right for them, you know. Now they're going through it. But that's what happens when you do somebody that way. Yeah, your person triggered. Triggered because possibly you can't get you back. They feel this magnetic pull towards you, though, you know, but something's triggering your person because they, they can't get you back like they want to. You know, they can't be back in your presence like they want to. So some of you don't block them off. They feel like you just don't want to deal with them never, ever again, you know, and that could definitely definitely might be the case. Let's keep being nosy. <laughs> See what else is going on here. Spam you guys. How does the collector's person that they're currently thinking about? feel about my beautiful collective how do they feel about my beautiful collective for somebody for some of you this person's very non-committal but they're hurting as they continue to be non-committal you know this person just sits in this energy where they feel like the weight of the world is on their shoulders you know they feel like they're constantly going through shit but this is only the shit that they put themselves through you know like they don't have to be living the way they live in but that's they're making a choice to do so All right, let's do one more shuffle. All right. Spirit, let me know how the collector's person is currently feeling at this time. Your person wants to spend some quality time, just one-on-one -on -one talking, being in your presence. Yeah, look, they want you want you real bad because i see that that you're the one you're her you're beautiful you stand out of the crowd and they want you yeah they could want to get away with you picture like going on a vacation with you maybe i've talked about going on vacation but they want to do that with you or for you but they're scared to reconciliate with you because they let temptation get in the way of this connection when you was the one who made them feel whole but they chose these options and everybody else over you Yeah, see, not committal. They're not ready yet. You know, they're still in this energy where they're taking their time to get towards you. Or, you know, they're taking their time to come in with some type of apology because they're in another situation right now. But that's all about to change because your person wants to come in and give you the offer in love. Right now, your person focusing on their money, though, because they ain't got no money. Yep, still being sneaky. See, watching you. She knows that he's watching you. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, this could be a, your twin flame. And they find you hella attractive. You know, they, they just, they feel like you're the most beautiful thing ever. ever. This person still got a crush on you. But some of you collective, you made this person feel very comfortable, you know, to where, to the fact that they want to come in and talk to you. Express to you what's been going on. 
you know, they found comfort in you. You made this person feel like you, you know, you, you didn't judge them or make them feel stupid for anything. You were their comfort and they missed that. They missed that comfort. Person feels like y'all are just taking a break right now and they planning on something. Planning on something after they heal. Right now they spend some time alone trying to get themselves together. But they, they feel like y'all taking a break. Or you're taking a break from them. Yeah. So there's distance between y'all right now. And I feel like a person's in a situation where they're very codependent. See, with a, with a karmic. They're very codependent with this person. So they depend on this person to do everything. You know, see, third party. Yeah. And it's crazy because they feel unconditional love for you, but they're in their head. In their head about you. You know, this person knows that they're being fake and not living with it. Yep. Hurting because they want to come in and give you some type of proposal, but they can't right now because they're in another situation. A toxic, crazy situation. Yeah. See, the fact that they could have avoided you, which left you no choice but to walk away from this person. You feel like it was time to walk away. And that's what's hurting them. Because now you're, now you're living your best life. They chose temptation and chose something over what they thought was better than you. And now they're feeling shitty about it. And this person feels like you're very independent. You know, you got your own motion. You're doing good. And that's why they want to come towards you and change something. Even change being in another commitment because they don't want that anymore. And they know that they owe you an apology. Want to come up with some type of offer. Yeah. See, temptation. But y'all are not talking. I also feel like kind of way that this person is very tempted to come in and talk to you too, but they feel like you are not emotionally available, you know, or unavailable. Um, they feel like a lot, a lot of something about your looks got this person feeling real damn good. You know, like, damn, I got to get her back. You know, she's beautiful. Like, I know she got others. I know she out here doing her thing. That's what's supposed to feel. Yeah, they want to have sex with you real bad. Yeah. Some of you, they want to even start a family with you. Possibly want to try to get you pregnant. But you put it to this person, nope. <laughs> nope. Yeah, but right now, this person could be emotionally emotionally unavailable at this time. You could be the same way. Okay? It's kind of like I just took a, both, took a break and went y'all separate ways. Yeah, see, this person wants to start a family with you, but I feel like they got other responsibilities responsibilities going on right now with a with a lot of game playing and cycles. They know they're playing a lot of games, and they the fact they keep playing games and having you go in cycles back to back to back. You were this person's happiness, okay, collective. You made them feel like somebody, but they ran from this connection, and now they're seeing things clearly now. They learned a spiritual lesson. Like, that was your blessing. That was the one that you could have had, could have been able, your fresh new beginning, your fresh start. But you became emotionally unavailable to the wrong one. This is somebody who was good for you. This person had their own motion going. The collective had good things going for themselves. You did not open up to this connection. Now look at you. Hurting and unhappy somewhere. Yeah. Now they, that, now they get it. That, that bu light bulb then came on. Financially strapped. Told you. This person ain't got no money. I'm telling you, they have nothing to give you. This person don't feel bad at all. They have nothing to give you. And that's what's causing conflict over there, too. You could even help this person out at one point in time. You were the breadwinner. You were the one making the money. Yeah, but y'all getting some type of offer from them. This player, y'all getting some type of this non-committal ass person. They hoping that you would come back, will trust them and let them and let them leave. Some of you that want to do something romantic, nice, probably get a hotel. Y'all to just have fun. Yeah, but your person letting this pride get in the way. Now, this person is very cold right now. Or they feel like you're very cold. Yeah, that's you. They feel like you're cold. They feel like there's no way they can get through to you, collective. 
They feel like your energy is very, very cold. They feel like you're living your best life. And now they're in a situation where they're unhappy, a lot of conflict going on. Why are you out here dating and having fun? Yeah, they chose a they chose a third party, a karmic partner over you. But guess what? You're about to get a long message from them explaining everything. Watch. Y'all about to get a good message how they feel trapped in the situation, how they, you know, let the best thing go, that it was nothing but to use this other person to get their way. And they hope that you will that you will compromise with them. They're sorry for putting options over you. They miss your energy, your light, and your love. They're gonna tell you, I still ain't got nothing to offer, but I hope you ain't out here messing around with other people. You know, I wanna be the one to start I want you to have my child. You know, it could be from an air sign. Um, but I'm focusing on my money. It's just a lot of a, a lot of a lot of whole lot of whole lot of this person gonna be telling you. You know, they then came to a realization. You real life pressure. Yep. And that's why they want to come and apologize. They're realizing for some of you collective, even though they know your energy is cold towards them, that you might not want nothing to do with them. They are realizing that they are the one who was the one who was at fault and that it's time to apologize to you and make this right. And it's going to be sincere. It's going to be sincere because they want you. They want you and they miss you and they want to have you back in, into their lives. Yep, reconciliation. So be expecting a reconciliation with this person. Yep, they want a reconciliation because you make them feel whole. You know, you don't judge them. You are good to them. And they feel like they messed that up. Yeah, see, they found comfort in you. You made this person feel so comfortable, you know, about everything. Even though this person could have been going through the worst, you still made them feel like somebody made them feel comfortable. Now they're looking at themselves in the mirror, wishing they would have done things differently. But they scared to approach you. Some of you, they scared of going to jail. They got some jail time that they got to do. And that's what they scared of. Could be running from that too. But they're trying to heal. We are not talking. Just because y'all not talking, you're this person's trying to heal. They're definitely trying to heal. Heal their selfish ways. Heal from a connection that's no longer suitable for them. So that's it. That's all I got for y'all. I love each and every one of y'all. Please make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see y'all in the next video. Peace.